Well, today on the workbench, I have an SD35. This is an Atlas, and it is one of the older Atlases. And we're going to be putting in this Digitrax SDXH166D. And if you've watched any of, of my other videos, this decoder is pretty much my standard go-to decoder and I've put several of these in uh, really simple install so we'll get uh, get this thing apart and we'll see what we can get into here with this with this little atlas now looks like the way we're gonna have to disassemble this is I know I'm going to have to remove my uh, couplers to get that, the body off and I'm not sure if the screws in this are holding the motor down or if they're holding the body one. I think they're just holding the motor down. So let's go ahead and, well actually, well, it's another one of those Try as you go videos. All right, so let's see what we've got here. Find me a flat screwdriver. using that one yesterday to pull some uh, or put some grease in that has got to be for the motor itself safe side. Let's pull these two screws out. Those have got to be for the motor because that didn't loosen a thing up. There, we got both of those out. Evidently, that did something for me. At least I won't have to take the couplers off. <clears throat> As I'll show you here in a second, why well, I really don't want to take these couplers off. This, this is, like I say, an older style. And there we go. And that was for the, for the motor. Okay, there's our light bar, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let me put these two screws back in. It's uh, this decoder that I'm installing. I've put it in blue boxes, uh, 
Stewart's several different locomotives and they are pretty versatile they'll fit just about in anything so I'll have to give these wheels a good good clean up all right so and that is just yeah that was just glued on there and that <laughs> that just transfers your light from front to rear so but yeah what I was saying about these couplers these don't have screws these have <laughs> they're called drive rivets this is the way this came from the factory you can see that right down in there the way you change those couplers out is you just pull on that put a pair of pliers on that drive rivet and pull it out so no coupler boxes no anything real simple 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 Got whisker couplers on it you can see the little probably can't see the little hairs on the couplers there but they're there so well let's get into this and there I just dropped the glass out of the cab put that back in Okay, there's that back in there uh, <laughs> does have some build up grease in there you can see that on the tip of that and I've got most of it scraped off there so we'll go ahead and clean this thing up best we can see how well this will work got my wires coming from my truck so I won't have to solder anything down onto the end of the trucks got my wires here It looks like this motor is isolated because there are rubber there's some rubber grommets there on that so let's uh, pull this up I should be able to mount this decoder right in here what I'm hoping pull that out of there so <clears throat> get the decoder opened up Instructions. Got our decoder out. There's our decoder. Okay. Now, since we don't have a lot of other functions here, do what I normally do with these 
uh, instead of just clipping the wires off, the ones that I don't need, I'm going to take and I'll pull the, the plug out and I will go in and I'll physically take out the connector on those and you'll see that here in a minute. I'll do it on both sides. So, but yeah, I think that I can mount this decoder. Should be able to mount it right in here. I'll have to trim some of this off a little. Trim this out. That'll set in there. Uh, I'll be able to mount my speaker in the body. Mounted. That light's a little bad. Be able to mount it down in there underneath the uh, exhaust grills. There's a little stub. Stub I'll have to cut off right there. And I can double stick tape that in there. Got the capacitor. That capacitor maybe I'll be able to put down right in here. And I may change this light out. Maybe put in an LED light. This isn't mine, so. Now there's a piece that's looks like it's broken off. We don't need that. So how's this picking up? Okay, that's picking up off of the one side. Yeah. Get my soldering iron fired up here. Actually, I may not have to cut any off that if I turn that decoder upside down. It'll sit nicely on that edge. Right in there. Um, let that soldering iron heat up. I'll have to remove all these wires off my pickups. <clears throat> so one good thing about this soldering iron, it doesn't take long to heat up at all. Drop that. There's my light. That back in there into the picture. Get that off of there. So we've got our pickups. And no. Oh. really well. Okay, and I will grease this up, get it lubricated. And once again, I'll break out my instructions. Start off with uh, removing some of the wires out of this clip. Uh, right now, what we are going to need, we're going to need our pickups 
from uh, our engineer's side and our fireman's side. The engineer's side, the right-hand side over here, uh, will be our red wire, so we need our red. On this harness, we'll need our red wire. Uh, the green one we won't need. So I'll be able to pull it out. So we'll go ahead and pull them out while I'm looking at them. I just take an X-Acto knife and you can pull that up like pull that clip up just a little bit and those pull right out so and I'll be able to if I need to I can go back in and put them back in uh, this violet one do the same thing I don't know if you can see this or not I'll take and pull that up. I didn't get it completely. You can just pull them right out. Don't need the violet one. Uh, I'll need the black. I'll need the gray. Yellow is the rear light white is my forward light and I'll need the black black is the uh, fireman side so I've taken those two wires out that'll be all I need to take out right there so everything else I'll use here Now I know this has two different color wires running through it, but that's fine. I can use them. What I'll end up doing, because basically, uh, fireman side, I'll connect that together. Engineer side, I'll connect those together and then I'll connect my wires from my plug together. So, make sure we got enough room. I can put that together like that. I'll get me some heat shrink. Can never have enough heat shrink. pieces of that hmm. one good thing about it I won't have to tin those wires together or tin those it will easy on myself. I should cut that down some. <clears throat> that way. Uh, actually what I'll do Okay. Got 
that little bit out. Got that little bit out. Get our wire strippers. Repetition, repetition. And actually, I used that for super glue, so I can't use that anymore. All right. The flux on that. Break out the solder. Start tinning up wires. Okay, we've got that tinned up. this piece of heat shrink on here before I forget about it on the other side So there's that. Put those connected together, shorten them up a little bit. Now, what I need to do, so this is my engineer side over here, and that connects to the red wire on my harness and I plan on locating this decoder right here that'll sit there so what I'll do is I'll cut this wire down and then tie it right in well this is the fireman's side It'll be the uh, the black wire. My black wire will connect right there. So we'll get that. I'll cut that down. That'll go in there like that. turn that over it would be the right way but it fits better this way 
So, go ahead and cut down. Pull that out. I'll leave myself a little extra. I need the black one. I need the red one. I'll cut the red one the same length. <clears throat> okay. Now I'll go ahead and strip both of these. my black there's my red break out the flux again get both the sides of that Okay, so now I check and double check. The black is the fireman's side. And I want to get this put in here right because I've already got my um, heat shrink on here. So. Slid on me. Now if I can get my heat shrink on there, I should have used a bigger, bigger piece of heat shrink. Let's do that again, only with a slightly bigger piece of heat shrink. I've got some red, I believe it's a bigger diameter. sides again.
Okay. that side. I might as well go ahead and split that apart and put my bigger piece of heat shrink on there. So I'm going to need it. Let's see. Give that a little twist around there. All right. So I've got my power hooked up. So actually, right at this point, I could test this locomotive to uh, see if we've got everything in order. Put the lid back on my flux. Plug that in, I need to clip this off. Okay, there's that. So like I say, my decoder will sit here. Wish that was a little over center, but oh well, that'll work. That'll go there like that. Or anywhere back where I want to put it there. And we'll go ahead and clip those off too. Uh, Well, no, I think I'll leave those. Never mind. Actually, I told you wrong. I can't test this yet. I've got to hook up the motor leads. And the motor leads are gray and orange. Orange is the positive on the motor. 
so that'll that'll be this side and this will let me turn this around Again, just like that, just like that, that'll sit like that. Keep these wires tucked in. under everything that way we'll have to fight them here after a while the double-sided tape right down on that keep all that in there neat I might as well put a piece of tape on this right now Well, if I do that, I'm going to have to have my plug in there. I'll leave myself enough room there to get that plugged in. in my speaker got movement so what did I say here orange my orange wire comes over here and it'll plug right or solder right into that the flux again. Okay. Big old fingers in a way. Install that. That side.
More solder, more flux, more tinning. Really not left handed. Okay. And now, let me look this over, make sure that that motor is isolated. Like I say, there's rubber grommets on the screws going up through into the motor mount. So that'll be fine. I'm isolated there. On this side, none of the can is hitting anything. So I think that we are ready to test that to see if we have power or movement. I know we'll have power. One way or another we're going to have power there. Or good or bad we're going to have power there. And like I say, my yellow, blue, and white are all for um, lighting, front and rear lights. So let me, I'm, I'm going to do this just as simple as I can. I'll get a small piece of track, lay down, and we will go from there. So hang on, let me pause this. Okay, here you can see I've got a small piece of uh, test track. It's only about 14 inches long, and I've got it hooked up to my NCE system. So we'll get our cab out here, and of course this is going to be Loco 3 since it's new out of the box. And we'll see if we have any uh, motion. I haven't had any uh, smoke yet, so... We'll see what happens. Okay. There we go. We have, there's forward motion. And we'll reverse it. All right. There's reverse. So we do have uh, motion. We know the motor's isolated. Uh, and of course, now that was a really, really quick test. But I could hear it running just a little rough. I'm sure that's because this hasn't been lubricated in a long time. So we'll pull it back over here into the in the frame. And I'll take the power off of that and we'll go from there. So let me pause this again. Okay, you can see we removed our track. Now we're going to work on our sound and our front and rear lights. Uh, I've got a small LED here that I've got. Uh, I've already got a resistor on it. So I'll try that here in a, a little bit to see if it uh, still works or not. I'm not sure if it does. I think it does, but uh, I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to remove some of these wires from this sound harness. That way I can put it up into the shell. But I'll do the same thing on this as I did with the, the power. Uh, I don't need any of these other function wires. So there's only four on here that are needed, that I need right now. So I'll take out this white wire 
which is this second one here. This would be one of those jobs where it would be nice to have three hands. So I need to be able to pick up on it and pull all at the same time. It'll come out of there. There's one. say let's see let's go to this side pull this one out and this way since I'm not going to use them I won't have to worry about them shorten out on anything I won't have to worry about them at all So I need that red one. That's the third one. I need this fourth one out. It's a yellow one. Come out of there. Okay. Yellow. I don't need the green. my blue one I need that this purple one is the only one that's left that's that one okay make sure our tabs are all down that out of the way um, now I do like to put a little liquid black tape over the ends of the uh, capacitor there just so they won't short anything so let's get a little bit of that we'll dab that on there that now now since I did that I'm gonna let that uh, we'll set that off to the side let it dry okay we've got all our wires out now I'll go back to the lighting and this is just a surface mount LED uh, these are Picos. I can't remember what size they are. But as you can see, I've got a 1,000 ohm resistor there. And to test this, I'll go with my blue and white is the forward. So I'll strip this off. And we'll give this a test to see if it works. It'll look better than those incandescent bulbs. A lot better. Actually, this only had one. So. Well, there we go. A little bit stripped off there. I'll go ahead and get all this fluxed. And then we'll tan them up. And we'll 
go from there. That's already got some on it. So my red is positive. That'll go to the blue. Let me get this. Those tinned up. Like I say, this is just a test because if it works, well, I know this will work. I just want to make sure that the bulb is good in this. Um, And I've got some more LEDs if this one's bad. So I'll get my little test track out again. Had it laid off one of the floor here. So I'll set that right in there. spill this flux yet go ahead and put that on the lid on it and I'll have to build a little box uh, for the light itself because if I don't there'll be a lot of light coming through the cab Turn my NCE system back on. It's still on. All right. So my light's right there. It may come on just as soon as I touch this. Nope. Okay. Let's try. And I think it did come on. I think my resistor's too. Too big. Let me turn that light off. And we'll see. Yeah. The light actually does work. It's just I need to take the resistor and put a smaller resistor on it. You can see that flashing. Right here. So, all right. That unhooked. Find us uh, another resistor. I've got some 470s. I know I've got some 2000s. This is a 1000 ohm resistor on here right now. So I believe that's a 1000. I'll have to look and see. Let me find my resistors. Okay, that is a 1000 ohm resistor. And I've got some 470 right here. So I'll go ahead and take that apart. And 
Let's see. I'll have to cut that off. Strip that off again. Well, there we go. Took me a second. That fluxed up. Get her 1,000 ohm or 470 ohm resistor. I need to flux it up a little bit. And we'll tin it up. And then we'll do another test. side of the time here. Get my little tweezers. So I can hold that. say once again this is a test so well that didn't take back to the drawing board here Well, it's a small. Okay, that got it. Well, no, it didn't get it. Uh, let's try this. Let me tin it up to this. Put it on the other side here. At least we'll have it on one side. Okay, so that's on there. The flux on it. End up. Okay. That will suffice for our test. I'll see if I can lay this back up in here again. Okay, now 
back with our test again. I'll get my test leads hooked up. That side. Okay. Now I think I just saw that flash. So if that flashed, I may have just blown it. Oh, nope. 470 ohm. Looks like it'll be just fine. And that is bright, bright, bright. Whew. So, it looks like that's what we'll go with. Now I just got to make this a permanent connection. Unhook my test leads. that out of there and I do have some more of these so I'll get another one and what I'm gonna have to do is modify the cab down in there uh, I'll have to modify that. I'll get it so where you can see it. Modify this right in here. I'll build a little box out of some styrene. And I'll do that off camera. And then we'll install that. And I can put the uh, light in there and it'll take care of the headlight and the number boards. So, And then I'll do the, the same for the rear. That's the plan, anyway. Okay, now I do have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have uh, got a couple of uh, surface mount LEDs, and I'll try to show you what I've done here. Now, on this shell, I have taken a piece of 040, 40,000 styrene, and I've put it back here in the back and drilled a small hole uh, mounted that light into into that and I'll paint this black before I reassemble this so there won't be any light bleeding through it so that's that and then up here on the front of the cab I've painted the roof black and this is the uh, the actual light that I'll be using what I've done is this will set in here just like this, and I'll paint this black also, so you can't see it really, if you look up toward the roof. But uh, I've basically put some, uh, this is, I think this is hundred thousands styrene, and I've painted the top black so it won't bleed light through, but the surface mount LED is pointing I know that's really tiny, but it's pointing straight out, and that'll just create a box there. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and lay this in here, just like that. And like I say, this I'll paint this roof black, and you won't be able to see anything right there. It will light the the number boards won't be separate from the headlights, so. But it will be a whole lot better light than what was there before. So what I'm going to do now, I'll go ahead and uh, paint that black so the light can't bleed through that, and you won't be able to really see anything. So, uh, other than that, I'll get those two areas painted. Uh, I've got to mount the speaker in there yet. Like uh, 
and I'll be using the 470 ohm resistors. So really other than that, I need to let some things dry and then we can go from there. So let me uh, pause this. When I come back, this will be black. That'll be black. I'll have the lubed up and then we'll we'll see what we have to do from there. Okay. Uh, all right, I've got the the light boxes painted painted black. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the lights. We'll get them finished up and then we'll see what we have. So I've already taken, and these are 470 ohm resistors. I've already taken, cut that, tinned it. So I just need to strip some wire here. And this, the yellow wire is my rear light. So I'll have plenty. There's my rear light. Cut that off. Um... I need to go ahead and I'll cut my front white front light off. I'll have to take that resistor off there. But I figured while I was gonna do some fluxing here and some tinning, so we'll just do them all one time. At least these. At least these two. That way I'll have them. My resistors go on on this side. So I've got those the flux on those. I'll tin them up. Clean that tip off a little bit. forgot put my heat shrink on I'll well put it on the white one while I'm thinking about it there's that Shrunk on there. Okay. Take this one off of here. Now, I'll have to, my blue is positive, it's the common for both, so I will 
cut it off and get that over here to where I can see what I've got. These are my neg blacks, my negatives. So I'll have plenty on my red, on my positive. some of that off so let me hook up my rear light which is my yellow so I'll cut that and cut that Strip it off a little bit, and that that wire you can is thin enough you can strip it with your fingers. So I'm gonna fold that back over on itself. Can't even hardly hold on to the stuff. Actually, what I'll do before I fold it, I'll flux it and tin it, and then I'll fold it over on itself. That might make it easier to get a hold of. Okay. And I've got some heat shrink for that. Fold this over on itself. Okay. Yeah, crazy stuff. shrink tube on it. There's that. And I will get my little pliers there. Pliers, tweezers. We'll go ahead and solder this. And I knew that wasn't Okay, <laughs> that heat shrink slid all the way to the bottom, naturally. Pull that back up. Rear light. Cut that off. If I can get that stripped. Come on. 
Mm. These aren't small enough to strip that wire. Wonder if I could just there we go. Okay. Some flux on that. that heat drink this without using my tweezers. Nope, I'm gonna have to use the tweezers. Let's see how much room I have. that'll hold there. I need to trim that off just a touch. Okay. Now. Okay, there's that. Pull our heat shrink up. That's all the way at the bottom again. Still at the bottom. There's my resistors. Now the only thing I have to do is connect my two positive wires up together. Well, let's try this method again. That seemed to work the last time. Well, it didn't work that time. Didn't work that time. There it worked. So, I will take and I'll cut this off. Strip it down. Then we'll go to our flux again. That one fluxed. That one fluxed. OK. 
Okay, now we're back to our solder. One, two, and three. Need one more piece of heat shrink. Put it on my blue wire. So my two reds connect together. There's that. We'll get this all soldered together. I don't know why I tried that without my tweezers. Sometimes I think that I can. Okay. The heat shrink up here. Nope. That side didn't take. It's always something. Well, let's get the tweezers out again. <clears throat> let's try holding it on this side. A tough time with this one. Let's try and twist these together a little bit. Okay, now let's try it. Just chasing that thing around.
halfway there. There. Okay, I've got that attached. Move the heat shrink up. We are ready to uh, test, make sure that our lights work. I will take and put some Kapton tape on this to kind of straighten the mess out. So, so I'll do that. I think I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back up and turn it back on and show you what. Okay, well, I've got everything back in the locomotive and I've got it assembled and I've got my little piece of test track here. These are Bacris uh, roller stands. Really like these stands, they're great just to test things, lube stuff up. So I'm going to set this on the uh, track here and I think I'll change this camera view because you're not seeing anything that I'm doing here so okay let me get that switched around okay I've got this uh, set up for real quick uh, test on some test stands Got the NCE system hooked up, and I'll make the final connection here. Let me get my big old hand out of the way. Uh, so the sound, you can hear the sound. Get my controller down. So the sound works. Start to move it forward a little bit. You probably you won't be able to see that. Well, if you can look at that front wheel there, and you can see the roller stands moving. I did lube it up, so it seems to run fairly smooth. Now the big thing will be will the there's the uh, headlight. Doesn't look like I have any light bleed through the the roof there. So, I would call this a success. There's our bell. Uh, there's a dynamic brake. That is the uh, grade crossing. So it looks like this is uh, successful. Turn our headlight off. That's a whole lot better than that incandescent bulb that was in there. All right. Okay, I've turned this around. We'll hook our power back up. This way you can see the uh, rear light. So there's our power hooked back up. Uh, and there's our rear light. Get it all running again there. 
then we're in reverse you can see the rollers moving so I think I think we've done all right there that finishes up this install